Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Plasfy. Plasfy is a popular online graphic design tool. You can use it to create YouTube thumbnails, Facebook posts, Instagram posts, any social media platform posts. You can also use it to create resumes or anything at all. With Plasfy, there are numerous options and templates that you can choose from to make even a complete beginner look like a professional. For example, you can see that on their basic plan, you will get over 15,000 templates. And you can see that they also offer over 6 million icons and 3,000 fonts. They also have an AI background remover and also they offer a lot of third-party integrations. So you can use Plasfy with Pixels, Dropbox and numerous other third-party apps. To get started with Plasfy, all you'll need to do is go on to Plasfy.com. Once on the platform, you can tap on Sign Up for Free. And by the way, if you would like to go onto their paid plan, you can do that as it starts off at $9 per month, as you can see right here. And you'll get 17,000 plus premium templates and over 8 million stock images. And But they also offer a free plan, which you don't need a credit card to sign up. And it will be free forever, as you can see right here. You'll be able to test drive the Plasfy editor. But the only pullback with the free plan is you will only be able to download JPG format. And also your storage will be 500 MB. So all you'll need to do is simply tap on pricing at the top. Then you could tap on sign up for free. Once you have signed up, you will be redirected to this dashboard as you can see right here. And off the bat, you can see that it is the design is very similar to Canva. So if you would like to create a custom design, all you have to do is tap on custom. Once you have tapped on custom, you can see you can choose mm, px, or you can use inches, centimeters, or feet. If you would like to create some form of advertising, all you'll have to do is tap on advertising right here. And you can use it to create banners, you can use it to create skyscraper banners, or you can use it for half page as you can see right there. If you would like to use it for some form of office features, for example, to create an invoice, a proposal, letterhead, or resume, you can also do that. And you can use it for marketing. By simply tapping on marketing, you can see the different heading that you can choose from. And you can also use it for social media, as you can see right there. And if you would like to see more templates or more areas that you can use it on, all you'll have to do is tap on templates and let's say you would like to use it to create a YouTube thumbnail. You could simply tap on YouTube thumbnails right here. After you have tapped on YouTube thumbnails, it is going to open up a new page on which you'll be able to look on different YouTube thumbnail templates. So let's view the thumbnail templates and I'll be showing you how to use Plasfy to edit a template and create a YouTube thumbnail. So you can see you'll be able to browse through over 17,000 templates. All you would have to do is simply tap on the search bar and you can search for the niche template that you would like to create or you can scroll down and by scrolling down you can see the different thumbnail ideas that you can use. So let's say for example I like this thumbnail right here. All I would have to do is tap on customize. Once I've tapped on customize, it is going to open up a new page on which I'll be able to customize or edit that particular template. And this goes for any template that you have chosen, whether it is for an Instagram post or whether it's for a Facebook post or anything overall. Once you tap on it, you will be automatically opened to a new page as you can see right here. What I want you to pay attention to is the left hand menu option. The layout is very similar to Canva if you, have, if you have ever used Canva before. So at the top you have templates, then you have text below it. By tapping on text you can see the subheading, a little bit of body of text and you can see different text icons right there. 
they also have clip arts by tapping on clip arts you can see right here there are different clip arts you can also upload photos if you want by simply tapping on photos you could tap on upload or you can upload an image via url you can also use pixabay or pixels to get royalty free images you can also upload images from Instagram and Facebook. And if you would like to remove a background or change a background, you can do that. You can change the background color right here by tapping on any one of these colors. All you'll have to do is simply tap on the canvas. So let's say, for example, I were to select this canvas right here. All I would have to do is tap on the canvas. Then from there, I can tap on the color that I would like to change the background to, as you can see right there. Or if I would like to remove the background, I could simply tap on this icon to remove the background. And you can undo anything that you have done by simply tapping on undo at the top right there. And then you can also add overlays if you want by simply tapping on overlays from the left hand menu option. As you can see right here, they also have mockups and you can see different badges that they have. Another thing that they have that you will find intriguing is elements. You can see different mockups for Android phone or by scrolling down, you can see the different mockups. And just like Canva, any one of the icons that you see with a crown, that means that you'd have to be a paid subscriber to use it. And by going down, if we were to tap on elements, Let's say you would like to add a grid if this was a blank screen. All you'll have to do is simply tap on grid frame, just like you would do in Canva, and you could add your grid right here. You can also add photo frame grid by simply tapping on photo frame, as you can see right here. And if you would like to turn your website or your URL into a QR code, all you'll have to do is tap on QR code maker, and you could paste in the URL right here and then tap on create QR code or you can use it to create a barcode and that's it. There are numerous features with this platform. All you have to do is simply tap on elements or simply browse around to see it. A major pullback with this platform though, it is not as easy to use as Canva. So the user interface is not as easy as Canva, but it does offer more features than Canva and more templates. So if you are a very experienced person or you're, you want more features than Canva, this platform may be for you. And by tapping on layers right here, you can see the original layer right here. So if you'd like to hide that, you can do that by simply tapping on that to hide the image as you can see right there. And there are other features. So let's say, for example, I would like to change the text font. All I would have to do is tap on the text. Then you can see the font style right here. So you can change the font style if you want. You can also change the size of the font. You can change the font color, as you can see right here. And if you would like to add more text, you can do that. If you would like to change the alignment of the text, you can do that also. And by tapping on this icon, you could change the background color or you could remove the background if you want, just like what I had shown you earlier. And also you can tap on this icon right here. If you would like to fade it, all you'd have to do is simply pull it to the left, as you can see right there. Once you're finished, all you'll need to do now is go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to tap on download. Once you have tapped on download, you're going to tap right where you see PNG and you would have to change that to JPG. As I said, that is one of the major pullbacks with this platform is this is the only format that you'll be able to download. As if I were to tap on download now, it would download as you can see right there. But let's say I were to use another format. So if I were to tap on download and change the format to, for example, PNG and change it to PNG then tap on download you are going to see this option pop up for me to sign up to a paid plan as you can see right there so the only format that you are able to download on the free plan is JPG so that is the pullback with it compared to Canva as with Canva you are given more download format options 
And that's basically it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you would like to sign up to Plasfy, I'll be leaving a link in the description.